Oh, well, weatherman blew it again. Lots of uh, clouds drifting through. Terrible, terrible, terrible. As I was saying earlier, the weatherman blew it. It's a lot of thin clouds drifting through. Mosquitoes. Whoa, man. Just, I had a, I bumped it up to 15 seconds. Let's see what happened. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, thin, hazy stuff drifting through the area tonight. It is not clear like the weathermen predicted. Right now I have it at uh, a 15 second exposure. Let me go see what it looks like out here. Hey Dewey. Well, it would be better if we didn't have the high thin clouds drifting through. It's not bad, but uh, it could be better.
in the moon. This is uh, where I touched 29 degrees up in the southwest. I've had the gain set halfway. Digital binning the level two. And the histogram right now is, oh, it's uh, eight, eight to 150. So let me adjust that. Okay, I think everything else is right. Yeah, the high contrast gain is on. Sharpness is at 0%. Let me see if I can... Uh, yeah, I saw the... You got the little deck all ready for the all sky. I think you're going to like that. Let's see, what can I try? I could try sharpness. Uh, let me go to sharpness 50. Let's see what happens. Get my eraser 50%. Boy, I got mosquitoes like rockhead. They are really bad. No, this is the astronomic 12 nanometer, uh, not the uh, 7 nanometer from Orion. Hi, Ski. Let me try a longer exposure. I only took darks up to uh, eight seconds. I figured I wouldn't need more than that, but uh, that was wrong. Stop. Let's go to 20 seconds. I'm looping at 20 seconds. Let's see what happens. Am I at full field? Yeah. Let me see where the histogram is. Maybe I could tweak the histogram. Maybe I'll change my dark. I took some darks that were at default histo and and some at uh, zero to one hundred. So let's see what the Let's uh, stop the stack. And I'm going to start building a new stack. And let me disable that. And I'm going to in. I'm going to in the import the uh, eight second. That one eight. Okay. And then let's. Enable stacking. Let's see what happens. Okay. So histograms eight to one hundred. I have a, a 
a dark applied that was histogram 0 to 100. Well, there's an Epic Pen Pro, and which version am I running? Let's see. Here's a, over here. It's on the screen, and it should be about Epic Pen 351 is the current version I'm uh, using. It's not a bad looking image. I could zoom in a little. some of those uh, dark Bach globules. 3.6 When you save a pick, does the epic... No. It'll, it, it saves on the screen capture video I'm doing, but it does not save on the individual uh, frames captured by Mellencamp Sky. It says when our fitness will be fit to life, fit to with. Uh, I'm uh, pretty impressed with this and the detail in the uh, the center. Okay, I'll take your word for it. Let me. Oh, yes, now I see it. Yeah, I see the mouth kind of curved down. Okay. Right below the, uh, the dark lane through the center. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Well, while... Lagoon Nebula, Jack. Star Story, Jack. And I guess what... Uh, yeah, this would be the... Uh, the head of the eight here. That would be his mouth, one of his eyes right here. Evening, Will. I've never noticed that before. Let's go to the 
Triffid, which is right above this. I want to catch them as they uh, start to set. Telescope slew into target. I'm going to stop the live. Telescope slew complete. Okay. See, I just zoomed out and let's see if I have the trifid. There it is. Okay. Let's go to live stacks. And let me change the title. Click on the eraser. Boink. And green ink text. Triffid. The gain is still 80. Star, you got everything ready for your broadcast starting at about uh, 9 central? And work on commission. <laughs> I was glad I could help you out earlier today. <laughs> no problem. Pretty nice. Right now the Triffid is 28 and a half degrees up at azimuth uh, 213. And this is 20 second exposure, the histogram is now 0 to 100, so let me change that. And 0-1. This is crazy. I had to put a long sleeve sweatshirt on, although it's only 78 degrees. But the mosquitoes were biting the heck out of me. So I had to protect my arms. That, that's quite all right. See, my sharpness is at 50%. I wonder if I bump the sharpness up a little bit more. Let me go to 100. Okay, let's see what happens. Sharpness, let me go to 100 on the sharpness.
I didn't bring my uh, passport uh, four terabyte hard drive out here to grab images. I'll, I'll have to just snap some off the uh, the video I'm recording. Very nice. Let me see how it gets and spinning in the uh, shutter. Okay. It's in there perfectly. So, let's see. So, I did Lagoon. I don't know if I can get him. I don't know if a globular cluster is going to be uh, worthwhile with uh, this filter. Telescopes looming to target. Telescope slew complete. Yeah, that H alpha filter may block too much of the light. That's uh, M22. This is M28. Okay, let me start the stacking, change the title. M28. Okay. This is, uh, how big is M28? Let me uh, get some information up on it. There it is. Move this to the side. It's 13.8 arc minutes. So it's a little bit less than a quarter degree. Magnitude 6.9. And 16,000 light years from us. Let me turn the dark off. I'm thinking the darks I captured earlier you get that, that band of light going across from the top to the bottom left corner. I got a light leak somewhere. Let's shine a flashlight on the camera on the outside and see if, if it affects the image. Yeah. 
have some light coming off of the uh, side of the shutter. Hey, Jeff. Crazy. Let me go back and import that dark again. So I have to go with the 8 seconds, 0 to 100 import. Okay. I'm going to try to join you later, Starry Jack, but uh, I have an appointment at 9 in the morning with my neurologist, so uh, I may not be able to stay up very late. We'll have to see. Well, now that we're, I'm going to sync on M28. Telescope synced. And then move to M22, the larger. Telescope slew into target. Telescope slew complete. Okay. And there's the bigger glob, M22. Start the stacking, okay. And the eraser, cleric, and text, text, text. M22. Yeah, I just wanted to play tonight with that big bright moon we got out there. Disable the stack. Let's see what happened. Something glitched. Okay, restart the stack. This is much bigger glob. Let's see. Right click. Nope, I didn't click on the right target. Let's see. M20. M22. This is 32. So this, this is actually bigger than the full moon. Magnitude 5.2. And it's closer. It's 9,800 light years versus the other one was 16,000. Telescopes flew into target. Telescopes flew complete.
arch of the dome out of the way. And now let me go to the stacking. I have it in uh, I have it in grayscale mode. Uh, what the H alpha filter does is changes everything into shades of red. So I'm going to go back and go back to the color mode, and you'll see what happens as images start as the stack starts uh, putting the color images in. So that's the first one with some color in it. But you'll get shades of red uh, from the H alpha filter. The second one's coming up now, so it should get a little bit redder. Yep. <laughs> Evening, Larry. Now we got uh, another one adding to the stack. I may go crazy and increase the exposure. This is how this is altitude 34 degrees up. I'm going to stop and I'm going to go to 30 seconds. Sort of looping at 30 seconds. I'm going to stop and start. Thirty. 30 seconds. Let's see what happens. Especially since my dark. Yeah, I have an 8 second dark. I, I, I did a bunch of darks earlier. 2 seconds, 4 seconds, 6 seconds, and 8 seconds. But then I, with this filter, I had to go so much longer. And I didn't want to play around with grabbing new dark. So I'm, I'm using the 8 second dark with a 30 second exposure. Let me see. I thought I had enabled the um, control alt delete cast manager Alan Cam Sky set affinity all none three okay close okay and now. Let's see what happens. Okay. So I just lowered the histogram back down to zero to one hundred. I have the astronomic, hold on, let me get the, the package. Oh. Over the focuser cable. Okay. 
it is an astronomic H alpha 12 nanometer CCD two inch made in Germany. Well, do it. This is a six second dark and a 30 second exposure. And I have the histogram set zero to 100. I could tweak. Hey, Matt and Aaron. It's not a bad looking swan. I think all I, I think I have all of the other parameters at defaults. Uh, let's see. Color balance default. Color adjustments default. Yeah. Let's move a little bit further north. Average stacking five, uh, Dewey. Telescopes to lumen to target. I'm going to turn off the uh, average stacking now. Telescopes to complete. You'd have the first image of the eagle coming up. There it is. And now go to live stack enable, auto align frame. And like I said, yeah, everything else, I'm sure I have high contrast gain on. I have the histogram 0 to 100. Digital binning 2. Gain is at half, 80 out of 160. And let me change the title of the target. W A N. Okay. Uh oh. No, I have the uh, universe focal reducer in. I don't have the spacer. I, I do have a little bit of vignetting at the corners, but uh, I have the focal reducer in. So F8 is probably somewhere in the order of maybe F5, maybe. 
And now I'm going to I'm going to disable the color and let it revert to grayscale. And okay. So now over the the next cycle of uh, average stacking, it should gradually change to grays, to monochrome view. Next time I have to remember to try and take longer darks. That little, that little itty bitty box globule right next to the, the talons. Right, uh, right there. There's another one down here. Actually, a couple of them down here. You notice it's gradually getting less colorful. Uh oh, it's not stacking properly. Let me click, 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 click. Let me restart the stack. Let's see what happens. Program called Epic Pen. Right here, I'll bring it over and Epic Pen. You, there's a free version, but if you want to be able to use uh, the keyboard and type, then you have to get the pro version, and the pro version is 20 bucks uh, per machine. Uh, Definitely worth it. Worth it. I will try to tune in uh, later, Jack. Uh, sorry, Jack. So now we're in the monochrome mode because I, I changed the. Uh, the color camera to a grayscale. I don't remember. Seeing uh, this extension here, pretty obvious uh, tonight. All right, Dewey. Jeff, what do you mean, what orbit is this scope in? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's, it's sitting in the, my backyard in beautiful Pearl River, Louisiana. Oh! Pink Floyd. Stop that. Let's 
it's like whenever I go to, let me try, I'm going to try going to planet mode and trying the uh, align frames and see, see what happens. I had it in deep sky mode. Get the next exposure up. Come on. Yeah, well, it looks like it locked up mine just now, too. Oh, there it goes again. So let me go back to enable the stacking. And I'm in the planet mode, average stacking. And I have aligned frames. On, oh, okay. Well, let's see. I'll turn it off. I've turned on line frames. I think that I either have a light leak in the light path or the darks were captured when I had a light leak. Uh, so now I have a line frame check. Now I'm going to go to enable. A while back, I found that the uh, I was getting light in through the little screw holes for the uh, universe focal reducer because I had the screw screws out, and uh, I think. I, I still have some place in the system where I, get, I have light coming in. Uh, I assume you're talking about this band of light that kind of goes from there to there through the picture. Yeah, the, I think... I don't know what did that. I have to play with that some more. There's also a, a highlighter tool. Where is it? Uh, there. Eraser, pen size. There's a highlighter tool that's kind of like transparent somewhat, but. Uh, To me, that's a beautiful image. <laughs> well, let's see. There's an HL. Is Dewey here or did Dewey leave? I was wondering if an H alpha filter works with uh, planetary nebulae. I guess there's only one way to find out. Let me go and find. Well, first of all, let me let me click. Let me sink on the eagle. Telescope synced. And then go to 6781. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, you like that, Andoy? <laughs> Let 
Let's see. Uh, bu, 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 search. NGC six seven eight one. <laughs> Wait till I have the 17 and a half back out here. I definitely, I'm getting closer. 6781 is a, no, no, no. NGC Yeah, it's a planetary nebula. I don't know why it's well view interactive atlas. Slew to and center at telescope slew into target. Okay, so I just went to sixty seven eighty one and telescope slew complete. Let's see. Am I in the shutter or am look am I looking at the dome? Let's see. Well, 6781 is there. <laughs> Let's wait for the next image. I think it was nice when I was about 30 years younger. Moving that 17 and a half around has lost its appeal. <laughs> Hopefully here I'll just be able to put the wheels on it and roll it out. How come that bright white, how close to the moon am I? Close. No, it's not by the moon, so why am I getting that? Uh, hmm. I think I know what it is. I think the uh, light is reflecting off of the solar scope. <laughs> Let me try to see if this will do it. Hold on. The dew shield on the solar scope sticks out past the end of the 10 inch VRC. And the light from the monitors is bouncing off of the dew shield and into, I think, of the solar scope so it doesn't reflect. Wait for the 
the next one. No, I'm not that close to the moon. Um, like 40 degrees away. That makes no sense. It's still there. I'm going to stop this recording for now.